Hey guys, welcome back to BJ Tech News episode 80. So today's episode I'm going to show you uh, how to configure your storage as well as uh, get up and configure a backup job for Semantics Backup Exec 2012. Uh, not too long ago I showed you guys how to install it and get it up and running and uh, today I'm going to show you guys how to configure the storage. Now, um, Semantics Backup Exec 2012, it's not really for the kind of storage that I'm going to use for it. Uh, I created a second partition on this machine because I don't have like a NetApp, I don't have like a LAN, uh, a, a SAN or a NAS to get this stuff attached to uh, or I don't have any backup tapes so just to keep it short and simple I'm using a partition of 5 gigs. Okay, So first thing that you want to do is you want to configure click on that, that link to configure the storage gives you four options uh, which is pretty cool which I found is that you can actually do cloud storage services so I'm, if, if I'm not mistaken you can actually connect your Amazon cloud services with semantics backup and get your stuff backed up to the cloud so that's pretty awesome but I'm gonna do the disk based storage click next uh, I'm gonna do it as disk storage for now you can actually do it as a USB device which is pretty cool Next, give it a name. I'm going to keep it as the default. Click on next. Now, by default, it picks up the C and the E. Now, if you don't have a location and it's C is being chosen as a default, you got to read this right here because believe it or not, it's going to try to format your C drive. Uh, I want the E drive, but most likely, if it was a tape, if it was a tape or a SAN or a NAS um, network error storage or a SAN um, storage area network servers most likely they would be uh, a different approach again I don't have that stuff in my environment so I had to just do basic stuff uh, click on next uh, gives you a nice little summary of the configuration and you hit finish and it's creating the disk storage 001 and let's see bam there you go so I think uh, we're done with the storage status. I believe if you go to the storage tab, it gives you a breakdown of all the storage locations that you have. And I think the next thing to do will be create a job. Um, so from right here, you do. I think you. I believe you go to edit. I believe the edit portion is. It allows you to. Uh, back up a selection uh, I believe I only want the E because that's where I want the stuff to be backed up on and I want to edit this from here you click on the edit button and you're basically able to go into the schedule and pick the way that you want to schedule most likely for best practices uh, the way you normally do it the way I normally do it, this is my best practice, is Monday through Thursday you do incrementals. Fridays you do a full backup of the entire week. And then every month or the end of the month you do a full backup of everything. Okay, So it's really up to you how you want this stuff to be configured. Okay, right here it basically tells you what storage pool. I want to do it on this storage pool. Keep it for how many how many weeks or days, hours, or years? Incrementals. If you guys are gonna be doing incrementals, which is pretty cool. Uh, network settings. Uh, if you guys have a, if you guys actually implemented this on a server with two NICs, depending on how you're doing your NIC settings, hey, it, you probably could do it by LAN or do something by else. Notifications if you want any notifications if your full backups were done completely. Uh, you do a test run, which is pretty cool. You verify it. Advanced open settings. Most likely, when you're running jobs, a lot of people have their computers on over the night and they have Word documents or Excel files open. So that will cause the backup jobs to fail. So it's always good to maybe um, copy the temp file and then later on go back to it. So it's pretty cool. Security, which is pretty cool. Uh, running backup job immediately when it 
Everlated semantic to a con level is reached. This is pretty cool because it has like a built-in antivirus within, so that's cool. Uh, Pre-post commands, uh, files and folders, enable single interface back over NTFS volumes. Uh, you know, it's it's a lot. I mean, this semantic backup execs again. I give it two thumbs up. It, it, it's it's pretty awesome. There's a lot of good features on it. Um, it's something that I'm trying to get implemented at my job site. Um, because we're using Arc Serve, which is tape drives, and our tape drives are really horrible. Um, so we're trying to find something a little better. Um, that's about it with this little short review how to configure stuff. Hopefully, you guys enjoy this video. Uh, I think on the next video, I'll probably do a little bit more uh, testing and review as well. I'll probably do a little bit more investigating with the reports tab. And um, that's about it, guys. At the very below, at this video please leave a comment as well if you enjoy this video give me two thumbs up uh, as well at the very top right there there's a subscribe button just hit the subscribe button to subscribe to my channel to get the latest and greatest tips and reviews on hardware and software and I catch you guys later thank you subscribe thank you